Greetings, my fellow Jamaicans. The government of Jamaica is almost doubling the allocation to the care element of the Serve Jamaica program with the additional allocation of $5 billion as announced in the first supplementary estimates. There will be several grants. There will be an automatic grant of $10,000 for all path heads of household. This is estimated to reach 130,000 Jamaicans at a cost of $1.3 billion. The CARE NIS grant. This will provide an automatic grant of $10,000 for NIS pensioners who are in receipt of an NIS pension of less than or equal to $10,000 per month. This is estimated to reach approximately 57,000 Jamaicans at a total cost of approximately $570 million. We'll introduce the CARE Social Pension Grant. This will provide an automatic grant of $10,000 for all Jamaicans 75 years and older who have qualified for a social pension. This is estimated to reach approximately 5,000 Jamaicans at a total cost of approximately $50 million. The Ministry of Finance has made allocations for disbursements for the CARE Social Pension Grant to be paid in November and the CARE PATH Grant and CARE NIS Grants to be paid in December. The Ministry of Labor and Social Security will disburse these grants. We'll introduce another CARE Set Cash Grant. This will provide an automatic grant of $18,000 for all persons who qualified for the June 2021 set cash grant and who have still not re-entered the workforce as evidenced by Tax Administration Jamaica records as at September 30th, 2021. Based on the last set cash payout, we are making allowances for 30,000 such persons at a total cost of approximately 540 million. We'll be introducing the CARE Workers Grant. The government of Jamaica understands that working people on lower incomes are also impacted by this environment. For this reason, we'll be introducing for a first time the CARE Workers Grant of $10,000. All working people in the PAYE system who have a gross weekly salary of $15,000 per week or less, or an annual salary of 780,000 per year or less, and all self-employed persons with statutory income equivalent to $780,000 per year or less, as at the last annual filing, will be eligible. This information will have to be verified by Tax Administration Jamaica as a confirmation of eligibility. There will need to be an application for this grant as we do not have addresses or bank account information for this group of persons. Applications will therefore open at wecare.gov.jm at the beginning of December. Detailed instructions will be available on the website. In aggregate, the government of Jamaica expects up to 352,000 Jamaicans to benefit at a total cost of approximately $3.8 billion. Many vulnerable persons are not in any of the formal databases of PATH, of the National Insurance Scheme, of Tax Administration Jamaica, or the new social pension. They are in the informal economy. The government of Jamaica intends that they too will be included. As such, the central government will partner with other institutions to deliver $1 billion in care food packages over the four-month period, December 2021 to March 2022. We expect over 200,000 care food packages to be delivered over this time period. My fellow Jamaicans, the COVID-19 pandemic has delivered an unprecedented shock all across the world. The government of Jamaica is taking tangible steps to provide additional support to vulnerable Jamaicans at this time as we all work to recover stronger. Mm -hmm.